Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie. Um, wow, what a week for kidnapping, isn't it, this week? So we've um, we've been looking at the kidnap of little Charlotte over in America, who was safely recovered. And then, wow, out of the blue comes this story about Holly Willoughby and this massive um, kidnap plot. Um, and that's sort of dominated the news, really, or certainly in the UK over the last couple of days. So for those of you who don't know who she is, there are people who don't watch this morning. In fact, there's quite a lot of people who don't watch this morning these days because the ratings are at an all-time low. It's just a coincidence, isn't it? The ratings are at uh, an all-time low. Holly's uh, personality or Holly's um, popularity rating is at an all-time low. And gosh, what happens? This kidnap attempt... The news of this kidnap attempt comes out. Now, well, it's not an attempt, actually. Here she is. So, for those of you who don't know who she is, Holly Willoughby is a presenter in, on the, in, in the UK. She's on, well, she was, certainly was on virtually everything. Now, her uh, popularity ratings took a little bit of a knock because of this guy, first of all. So this is uh, Philip Schofield, and of course there was a lot of scandal came out about him having an affair with a very, 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 very young um, runner from the This Morning Show. And there's been a bit of controversy as to when that affair started and was there grooming involved. And Holly, who stuck by him, knew all about it all the time that it was going on, uh, then tried to distance herself from him. Remember the um, uh, very strange sort of speech she made on this morning, dressed like a schoolwoman, a uh, school teacher, uh, etc. And she's tried very hard to break away because they were like, you know, um, they were always sort of linked together. They presented together. They presented most of the the biggest shows sort of on the ITV together. And uh, they were good friends to all intents and purposes. Anyway, that all finished when it came out about, for, you know, she sort of said she'd been lied to. And anyway, we all know that she hadn't been lied to, that she did know about it. And uh, she just tried to save her own career, really. Well, that's my opinion anyway, not only mine, quite a lot of people think that. Now, you may have a different opinion. Now, the first thing I want to say is, it is terrible. Uh, the th it, must be terif it must be terrifying if they've undercovered this plot. You know, when you put yourself in the public eye, when you're famous and as famous as Holly, I expect she's had lots of, you know, strange... Um, stalkers if you like or trolls etc you know unfortunately that's the nature of the beast these days with social media etc so i don't expect it's the first time that she's uh you know had some sort of distressing type um trolling or uh you know people saying nasty things to her and i, I don't I, I think that's awful you know, for any woman or man to have that, no, you know, they should people shouldn't be allowed to do that. Um, the problem is that you know, and just because I don't like her, because I think she's false, doesn't mean to say that I don't think it's serious. Um, if you know this kidnapping sort of threat. It's serious, of course it's serious, and some people have mentioned, talked about Jill Dando, and of course she was a presenter, wasn't she, who was actually murdered, you know, at her doorstep. Um, so we can't take it lightly, because things do happen to people in the public eye, especially women, perhaps. Um, maybe not especially women, maybe men and women, but there's stalkers... You know, you can never be too careful because it's too late when something happens. 
Okay, so what is wrong with this story as far as I'm concerned? I think, ah, oh, this is her husband, yeah. So, of course, she's married to uh, this guy. He's very high up in ITV. To me, this whole thing, um, it's, it's like, where did the story come from? This is what I want to know. How did they know? that this guy was plotting to kidnap Holly. Apparently, it's from electronic devices, uh, whatever, you know, whatever that means. So I don't know how it's been found out, why they, whether it's come from a tweet or, you know, how, how did it come to the attention of the police? That's what I would like to know, uh, just to know exactly where the story came from. So, yeah, so I'm not denigrating the seriousness of the fact that somebody was allegedly, because, of course, he hasn't been found guilty yet, allegedly plotting to kidnap Holly. So let's see where this story comes from, though, because this is important, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to Bristol Live. First of all, Holly Willoughby kidnap and murder plot. So a murder also, so it is, you know, very serious. Accused appears in court following his arrest. So a man of soliciting to commit the murder of ITV presenter Holly Willoughby has appeared in court. Gavin Plum appeared at Chelmsford Magistrates Court following an arrest in Harlow this week. This morning presenter, a mum of three, Holly, 42, so she, we must have forget she's got three children too, is reportedly under police guard following the alleged plot to kidnap her this week. The presenter was replaced by Alison Hammond on Thursday this week due to concerns for her safety. Now, this is a bit, so I don't really understand why she's been replaced by uh, Alison Hammond because the guy is in custody. So I'm not really sure why she couldn't go to work after the man had been arrested. Uh, and also, on that particular day, Rishi Sunak appeared on this morning. So I think if it's safe for Rishi Sunak, who's the Prime Minister of our country, surely it's safe for Holly Willoughby, who's an um, alleged um, prospective kidnapper, has been arrested um, so that's the first thing I don't understand. So I think the I think the most is going to be not taken away from the seriousness of what's happened to of, of the whole thing, but the most is going to be made of this. This is like a way of resurrecting um, her popularity, and I know that won't go down well with everyone. You know, and I'm all for uh, women being safe, as you know. But there's a few things about this. Why is Holly Willoughby? who lives in a mansion in the middle of London with her husband and three children and dogs and, you know, has a privileged lifestyle. So she's under police guard and uh, she's been given 24-hour protection from ITV as well. So I'm just thinking, you know, I was stalked years ago. The police weren't interested in the least so, you know, and I'm sure there's a lot of uh, you out there that have had experiences where you've had uh, violent partners or ex-partners or being stalked, etc. Probably couldn't even get policemen to come out, never mind a 24-hour round-the-clock police guard. And uh, so, yeah, why is... And even Prince Harry could not get police protection, even though he offered to pay for it when he came to the UK. So I'm just, you know, it's just a little bit, and bearing in mind that the, this person has already been arrested. So it's not like she's receiving anonymous threats. They don't know it's coming from. They're trying to apprehend the person who's making the threats. They've got him. So that's just a point that I'd like to make. So I do think the most is going to be made out of this, the most that can possibly be made out of it, to attempt to improve uh, Holly's popularity rating which to be honest at the moment is just like rock bottom really anyway essex police confirmed they had arrested a 36 year old man at an address 
in Harlow on Wednesday this week. Gavin Plum of Potter's Field in the town appeared in court dressed in a green t-shirt with shaved head, beard and thin moustache sporting a tattoo on his left arm. He only spoke to confirm his name and date of birth and remained impassive throughout the hearing. He is charged with solic I mean there's serious charges. He is charged with soliciting to commit soliciting to commit murder, incitement to commit kidnap said to have taken place in Harlow and he did not enter a plea. So you're very, very serious charges. So the case has been referred straight to Chelmsford Crown Court where Plum will appear on November the 3rd for a plea and trial preparation hearing. So District Judge Caroline Jackson told Plum he faces really serious allegations and remanded him in custody till his next court appearance. So Detective Superintendent Rob Kirby of Essex Police previously said, this was an extremely fast-paced investigation with many of our officers and national partners working overnight to secure these charges. The safeguarding of any victim is paramount. Well, I think you'll find that the safeguarding of Holly Willoughby is more paramount than the safeguarding of all the other women who live with live in fear day in, day out. Anyway, we will continue to prioritise this and working with the Metropolitan Police Service as the investigation proceeds. So a spokesman for uh, ITV said, this news has come as a huge shock to everyone at this morning but we're happy that the ratings are going to go up. And ITV, we are providing all the support we can to Holly and her family at this incredibly distressing time. Now, it must be a very distressing time. It must be pretty much terrifying, really, to think that somebody has plotted to not only abduct you, but murder you, maybe. You know, we don't know the full details until it all comes out. So let's have a look at... Um, where are we now? This is oh, the, the good old Daily Mail. Mail online, I should say. So, Holly Willoughby, murder and kidnap suspect pictured leaving court. Gavin Plum had weapons, planned to assemble a restraint kit and contacted a hitman in the US to try and kill this morning star. I mean, I, I am really, I would really like to see where all this comes from. I mean, it sounds terrible but the thing is in a minute when you meet gavin i mean it doesn't mean to say that he, he's not capable of all this but anyway you'll see what i mean shortly so a loner now bearing in mind he is he has been married he's got two teenage children but he's a loner accused of plotting to kidnap and kill holly willoughby he's been pictured leaving court after it heard he contacted a hitman in the US to snatch and murder the this morning star. Well, do you know what? If that's true, why, where is he getting these thoughts from? Anyway, he's a security, he's 36 years old, he's a security guard at a shopping centre in Essex, and he had planned to assemble a restraint kit at home where he had also stashed weapons. So the father of two who worked at Pizza Hut and McDonald's in the past, not really quite sure why they said that. I think that's just like when you see him because he's quite obese. They're probably, you know, it's, it's a horrible article, this actually. But anyway, he gave up after his weight ballooned to 35 stone, appeared in the dock, accused of offences including soliciting to commit murder and incitement to commit kidnap. Um, after his court hearing at Chelmsford Magistrates Court, he was pictured sitting in the back of a police van in a green T-shirt with white writing on his return to custody. Plum was found in possession of weapons. I wonder what weapons they were. Gosh, did he have actual GUNs, I wonder. And had reached out to a hitman in America to kill the TV presenter, 42. Chelmsford Magistrates Court heard this afternoon. Officers are said to have seized a mobile phone and electronic devices from his flat. 
after his arrest on Wednesday. So I just wonder how the, he came to their attention. Did he put out a tweet? Did he, you know, who... I wonder how this all came to their attention. Anyway, prosecuting Sheffer Begum told the court Plum was part of a vast, a vast network of like-minded individuals and had a detailed plan. Miss Begum said that weapons had been found in his flat and he had conspired with a man from the United States and arranged for him to fly to Britain. The unnamed accomplice has not been arrested. Miss, why? Why has he not been arrested? Miss Begum told the court, in this matter, he's made detailed plans with another to kidnap and murder. He had arranged flights and transfers for these offences to be carried out. So had he actually arranged the flights? Gosh, it is... Um, I mean, you know, how did they know? But... It's fantastic that they did find out and stop this before anything happened. Appearing before District Judge Caroline Jackson, he spoke only to confirm his name and address. He was remanded in custody, leaving the court in a white circle van and will appear before the Crown Court on November 3rd. So here he is, they've man managed to get a picture of him in the police van. I wonder what's going through his head. Anyway, so here he is, the guy. Now, the thing is, this guy, he, um, he hasn't left the house for about eight years because, as you can see, he's clinically obese. Um, so that's, as I presume, why he's solicited a hitman to do what he wants to be done with Holly so because he clearly could not do it uh, some pictures of Holly it's him in the dark so yeah he's now and the other interesting thing is this guy he's been on lots of television programs talking about overeating and his problem his, his struggle with his weight and he had a gastric band fitted in 2018. He's been the subject of several features with the BBC. Now, of course, with that, so we don't know. What's his issue with Holly? I mean, you know, it's one thing not to particularly like someone. Uh, you just don't watch them, do you? You don't like somebody on the telly. You just don't watch them. You don't plan to kidnap and uh, M-U-R do, do them. These are the flats where he lives. I mean, I'm just sort of, where was he going to, where was he going to take her? So you could just imagine someone turning up there with Holly Willoughby. Uh, they're going to get noticed, aren't they? That's his front door. Ah, and this was the video, Alison and Dermot's, um, Oh, God, this awful programme. I'm sorry to me, it's an awful programme. Um, just is. But anyway, this is their, what they said. We're not going to talk too much about it, but we have to start with a story about one of our own. Um, Holly is on the front page this morning after police arrested a 36-year-old man over an alleged kidnap plot. Uh, he's now been charged by Essex Police. Uh, we're obviously all shocked to hear the news, yeah. and we want to send our love and biggest hugs to Holly and her family. Absolutely. Uh, that didn't look very... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just think it's so false. The whole thing is false, that programme. Holly's false, Alison's false, Dermot's false, they're all false, in my opinion. I'm going to get, I'm probably going to, <laughs> people are going to get angry about this. There's probably lots of you out there that love it, but sorry, that's just me. So, yeah, so this guy, what do we think? What do we think? Anyway, so, but then, so bear in mind that the guy, this is the real thing that, uh, gets me I mean I think it's terrible um, you know awful 
any plots were made, uh, you know, for kidnap or, 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 I mean, it is, it's terrible. And I do feel for her, but he has been arrested now. So, but today police officers are guarding Holly's London mansion where, sorry, where she lives with her TV executive husband, Dan Baldwin, and their three children. Her co-stars and even Rishi Sunak has sent their words of support after Plum was charged this morning. How many people does Rishi Sunak send his words of support to? The charges include the defendant is accused of planning to assemble a kidnap and restraint kit, planning to assemble and encouraging, encouraging a third party to travel to the UK to carry out the alleged offences. Yeah, because he clearly would not be able to carry out those offences. Uh, Miss Begum told the court he was in possession of the weapons and he conspired with another to carry out the offences. So she has apparently been left distraught and pulled out of presenting this morning after learning of this plot. A source close to the star said that sinister and threatening messages had been found on electronic devices threatening to seriously harm her. However, Miss Willoughby is yet to make a statement. So he was arrested at his flat on Wednesday. He's a father of two teenagers, poor teenagers. That would be mortifying for them. Uh, his teenagers are 14 and 15. Marked police cars and forensics surrounded the property yesterday and combed the scene for evidence. So Plum once weighed 35 stone and didn't leave the house for years after quitting his job at Pizza Hut for health reasons. He now works as a security guard at the Pinnacle Shopping Centre in Harlow, Essex. He was the star of a BBC feature on weight loss in 2018, writing a diary for the corporation after he hit 35 stone, after gorging on junk, uh, junk food and downing an average of 36 pints of cola a week. He worked as a kitchen assistant at Pizza Hut for a year until 2012, according to his LinkedIn, but said he was unable to work because he couldn't get out of his flat, not leaving his home for at least four years from 2014. Plum, who previously said he only ever walked out of his front door to go to the communal bins, He's getting out more these days and has started driving lessons recently. Neighbours who know, de, know him told Mail Online. Yeah, so that's sort of more scary as well, isn't it? He's going to be able to be driving about, you know, if he's got these predilections, got these thoughts. But, yeah, where has all this come from? Anyway, he told the BBC, the last time I went out unaided was 2014. It was my parents' wedding vow renewal. My weight has always fluctuated at my heaviest. I was 35 and a half stone. And that's when my mental health, he's got, well, you know, he's, you just know this is going to come to a mental health problem. It's a vicious circle. When I'm depressed, I eat. And when I eat, I'm depressed. For a long time, I found it difficult walking around. But getting to the point of not being able to get out, that really crept up on me. I hate sitting indoors. I hate looking at the same four walls 24-7. I hate being the size I am. I'm pretty much in pain everywhere. I get chest pains and I've just been told it's because of my weight. Well, it is, to be fair. I'm scared that if I have something to eat or if I get up and I do too much, that's it. I'm done. So he added he had a gastric band fitted and had to go on a liquid diet. But neighbours said that today he's still severely overweight. I'm going to be on the post-op diet for the rest of my life, but as long as I can maintain that healthy diet, I can maintain my body weight. People think overweight people are lazy people and don't want to exercise. I just want to put it out there that people who are overweight do want to exercise. They do want to do things to change their life. But sometimes it's just not physically possible. Sometimes they need a bit of help. It's Holly, you know, I mean, she, she's a very attractive Holly, isn't she? 
Right, now there is a video of him somewhere. I'm just going to see if I can find it because I was watching it earlier. That's message of support from Holly. Oh, sorry, Lorraine. Who is also... Oh, this is the message of support from Rishi. En Argal valoramos lo sabroso y saludable. Por eso en el taller Argal hemos creado Argal Oliving, la única charcutería mediterránea que sustituye gran parte de la grasa animal por aceite de oliva virgen extra. Disfruta con el paté clásico y de pollo, con menos grasas y con todo lo bueno del aceite de oliva virgen extra. Argal Oliving, a new way of living. Oh, that was a long yeah, I, just, I was so sorry to hear about everything going on with Holly. So oh, I just wanted to send my you. best to her and her family. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And she will appreciate that oh, well. Thank you so much. Uh, obviously, I just I was so sorry to hear about everything oh, going no. on with Holly. So oh, I just wanted to send my yeah. best to her and her family. Thank and you. All I appreciate you. that. And she will appreciate that as well. Thank you so much. Oh, dear me. I'm not even going to say anything about it. Yeah, where's the guy? There was um, an interview with the guy I saw earlier but I can't I will find it because I think when you hear him talk as well you'll see what I mean let's see what Lorraine's message of support very very upsetting and of course we're sending Holly all yeah, of yeah, our love yeah. and best wishes that's a terrible thing to be having to go through for her and her family right it's nine yeah right let's get, get on with it now um, sorry, I don't like Lorraine either. I think they're all, it's a very false atmosphere, I think, at um, this place. But let me see, why can I not find? I just want to find the interview with him because I think oh, maybe that was on. Uh, So you just bear with me a sec. What's that in there, was it? What's happened to the video of him talking? We've been here, maybe. I like taking a picture of his front door. Yeah, no, it's just the same ones. Maybe here. Or it be all the same pictures again, probably. Yeah, just the same ones. Sorry, there is definitely a video of him talking somewhere. Maybe I'm not going far enough along. Not a video. No. Well, there's definitely a video because I was watching one. Earlier, yeah. was it here? No, this is something completely different. Right. Okay, I'm going to find it somewhere else. There definitely is one. Okay. Yeah, because he was talking about his struggles with his weight from this BBC program. Videos. Yeah, here we go. Right, sorry it took a little while, but um, let me just find the video. Okay. I just need to share it. So, here we are. I physically just can't walk to my front door and back again without being in a lot of pain. So he's only 31 there. So somewhere down the line when he was younger, he's had two children. And that when he did this little video, he'd not been out for 18 months. 
that was me last time I officially left the flat in 2014. And there I'm around about 30, 31. I only really go out my front door to put a bin bag in the a bin just outside the flat. And that's every few days, but that's about it. It's frustrating because I'd love to just pick up a football and, and go down the field. And I can't. You know, because I, I, I want to get back into Sunday League football. I suppose I used to play a lot of Sunday League football. And I physically can't do it. I want to get back into work. Anywhere would do. But I physically can't do it. When I'm in pain, the pain gets so bad that I physically... It's crippling. It's physically crippling. I just want it done because then I can... I mean, you can see from the later pictures, he definitely has lost some weight. So it's worked up to a point, but he's still quite overweight. Get my life back. I'm not going to give up, basically. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to get. I wonder if that's him when he was at Little. You know, one of those boys there. Bless him. I don't know why I'm saying bless him, but it does seem like uh, something's gone wrong. Nobody wants to be like that. I don't think people set out with the intention to think, oh, I want to be 35 stone. Some things, I don't know. I don't know how that happens. I mean, it took, believe me, I could I could quite easily, you know, I find it very easy to put on weight, unfortunately. But, um, I, you know, I've never obviously been as big as that. But I don't know. What can, what can make that happen to a young person? Especially, you know, because when he will have started with it, he won't have had uh, mobility problems. You know, the mobility problems have come with the weight gain. So I'm just wondering what led him to that. But anyway, that's just me. I like to know uh, all the details. Where I need to. This surgery is not only going to change my life, it's going to save my life. I think no, just can't walk that's, door and back. that's Gavin. Oh, so what do you think of this story? Let me know what you think. Now, there's one thing, more thing I want to show you what Katie Hopkins said about it. Um, she did quite a lengthy video, actually, but I've just picked out this bit because this is a bit where she gets quite serious. And I think... She, you know, a lot of what she says I do agree with, but I'm a bit torn because obviously it's awful. It's awful that um, this plot, you know, has been discovered and to think that people were actually, even if, you know, maybe there's a bit of fantasy sort of going on here with um, people that, I don't know, but even, if, even just to do it just for fantasy is sick, isn't it, is terrifying and then to actually think that they might have um carried it through is even more terrifying it has gone as far as to get a hitman from america arrange their flights and everything i mean we have to wait to hear the full story but it is terrifying anyway see what you think of this now remember this is uh this is, these are katie's opinions but i just you know i agree with some of it um, but what I really want to know is your opinion. This is Katie's arms. You know, this is her um, YouTube channel. Marks here from the masks. <gasps> so upsetting. This is We've had to play else. Monopoly all day and TikTok on vital pieces of equipment that could have been used to save people's lives. Fuck off. Oh, sorry, that's <laughs> something completely different. Right, should we talk about Holly? <laughs> Clearly, we're not talking about an ongoing police investigation. And clearly, none of us would ever comment or speculate or have anything to say about an ongoing criminal investigation. And the reason we know that is because 
those out there wishing to lock me up are probably only about 200 meters away from my house at every given moment. <laughs> so what I can say about someone completely different is imagine that you're so fucking desperate to have attention and sympathy you have to come up with something this monstrous. I'm not saying nothing's happened. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, oh, for fuck's sake. Because there's so many women out there, and women out here will know, um, that actually have an issue with a real stalker. There are women who have people they were in relationships with or have recently been in relationship with or husbands that didn't want them to leave who have things like children they have to protect who are on their own. And I know about being on your own with kids. See earlier, lamp. And they live in small houses that they can afford, but that offer them no protection whatsoever and afford them no security or safety. And there are women, and I know this a little bit personally, because currently I have an issue with someone who has been reported for violent and aggressive behaviour to five police forces. And I'm not, this isn't about me, but, and yet still nothing is being done. I know how it is to try and report a stalker. I know how it is to be given an online form and no one follow up and you beg for help and no one comes. And I only know a little bit of that. that. My position is more privileged, I would say, than many, because I have a, a garden and dogs and a husband. If you're truly on your own and you're truly being stalked, my question is, what help did you ever get? Because my sense is that you got bloody ignored, completely ignored. And there'll be many women out there who are actively frightened because of a real person who was in their lives and still believes he is or in their life and is actively physically threatening to them or their children, and they cannot get any help whatsoever. And that's really, and this is a serious point, I know, but that's really where I go with this. How is it that one person can have sympathy from Rishi Sunak, all of ITV, have the Met Police armed guards at their mansion in the middle of London? How is it possible that one person can get all of that? And no disrespect and not referencing this particular case, but if someone who says they might be a stalker on a text or a tweet or something somewhere also actively talks about the fact they can't leave their own home, I'm feeling like it wasn't really the, the threat that we're told is credible. How credible is that? I mean, again, I, I really don't want to make it about me, but when two people came to my home to chop my head off and had practice with a hunting knife, no fucker bothered to tell me that was the issue. I just think the hypocrisy is the thing. And my heart goes out to actually single mothers out there who actively have a stalker, who are desperate for help and who are continuously ignored. And then eventually they get wiped off the face of the earth in some disgusting, despicable way in front of their kids. And then the police say there were lessons to be learned. Well, please could we learn those lessons now? And I, and you know, for everyone slagging me off, like, oh, you think Hopkins would be kind? Fuck be kind. I am kind. I'm kind to ordinary people who really need help and who don't get special treatment. So you think I'm being heartless? Fuck off, frankly. Because I do care, but I care about ordinary people who are really in the shit. And not some puffed up little wannabe who knew about what was going on with children and did nothing. Who pushed in the line for the Queen's funeral, whose really ratings have taken an absolute dive. And now we have this. Okay, fine. Thank you. Yeah, I've got to admit, especially the end of that speech, I found it quite emotional because it's true. You know, there are women out there that are being stalked or, and they end up being stalked you know, women with children, they can't move house, they can't get police armed guard out to look after them. And they, in the end, um, their abusers slip through the cracks and um, obliterate them from this planet. Happens all the time, day in, day out. So, yeah. Anyway, and something else you mentioned there. So, yeah, I think we mustn't forget this person uh not only she protected someone you know knowing about children that's what she's in i'm uh 
you know, I don't know uh, how much you knew about Philip Schofield's friend. Um, but the other thing, of course, we must not forget about her, and I'm going to... No, she's not a nice person. I mean, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean to say that she deserves to be kidnapped or anything like that. I'm not saying that, but I think, you know, I... I don't know. I'm um, not sure. Yeah, mustn't forget about this. Get Philip Schofield's face there pretending to be uh, the falseness of these people. It just completely, you can just see it in his face. It's that Prince Andrew face. He actually looks like Prince Andrew on that photo. The same face when people knowing they're doing things wrong or have done things wrong, but they think they can pull the wool over people's eyes. And then, of course, Holly, you know, no, no, it was nothing to do with her. Like, she didn't jump the queue. So there you go. That's my thoughts on the situation. Um, I, in fact, I'm going to finish this video off with that picture. This is the Holly we should always remember. But I'm glad the guy's been caught. I, so let's see what comes out, you know, uh, what is going to come out. How did it all get found out? Is this some guy just sat on a computer, you know, because people do do that. I know that from the trolls that I've got, and that people just on the end, at the other end of a keyboard talking shit, basically. Sorry, I'm not supposed to swear on videos. Talking sugar. And um, and they do do that, but still, I mean, it's ridiculous things to talk about, I know, but, or is it more sinister? Was this really going to happen? In which case, she does have all my sympathy, because at the end of the day, that's, she's got children, she's, but she's protected, so she does have my sympathy, but more, people who more have my sympathy are people that are living on council estates that the police aren't interested in protecting. They've still got, they could be living on their own with children. Their ex is coming round there, causing all sorts, you know, and it, the police don't do anything until they're actually dead. They don't arrest the person. So, you know, this happens. I, I could do a million videos about girls, women and men that have been stalked, the police have done nothing, and the stalker has ended up uh, killing them. So where was the 24-hour police protection then? You couldn't even get a policeman out half the time. Or they got a policeman out and the police, yes, welfare checks. Police came out, did absolutely nothing, and that person, those people ended up dying shortly afterwards. Not only Nicola, loads, loads just in Lancashire, and never mind all over the world, uh, the country, never mind all over the world. So, yeah, so my sympathies, I agree with Katie on that, my real sympathies. My sympathies are with Holly, but she is being looked after, protected, and good. That I'm not saying she shouldn't be, but what I'm saying is why is she being protected? To me, this has got Martin Frizzell all over it as well. And, I've, God, I probably shouldn't mention his name because uh, that's a very... There's, there's something very sort of sinister about these massive TV companies, etc. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm, right, I'm just rambling on now, aren't I? I've got to go to the shops. <laughs> okay, so thank you for watching. I'm sure you'll leave me your comments. Be kind. I know maybe you don't agree with me in the things I say. That's fine. Um, just if you've got something to say, just say it respectfully. That's all. Okay, so remember to all, yeah, live and love carefully. This is why you have to live and love carefully. Because if you don't and you choose the wrong, the wrong one, nobody will help you. Okay, so see you very soon in the next video. And until then, may your God always go with you. Bye.